Jesse Jackson is providing a rallying point for many blacks in the Democratic Party, but the party stands to lose some black voters if Jackson does not get the nomination. Some of those voters are holding their own convention this weekend in Atlanta. CNN's Ed Garston reports. A year before the Democrats arrive, a political convention in Atlanta already has its presidential candidate. She is Lenora Filani, and her new alliance party is taking a novel approach to the 88 election. It's called Two Roads Are Better Than One. The first road is Jesse Jackson. This group of mostly disenchanted Democrats is backing Jackson for the nomination. But if he doesn't make it, it's a turn down the second road, behind Filani. The idea is to keep a black progressive in the running. But while Jackson's support is near unanimous here, the same can't be said for mainstream black Democrats. Take, for instance, these two Georgia politicians. Uh, so my thinking right now is to remain neutral. The only thing that would bring me out of neutrality is if Sam Nunn, uh, the senior senator from this state, make a decision to run. I think that his candidacy is directed toward one set of goals and objectives. I'm not so concerned about the personality running. Uh, I'm much more concerned about the party winning. But Michigan Congressman John Conyers says Jackson can succeed. Uh, I've heard people say we don't, we want a winner, we don't just want a symbol. Uh, as if uh, a symbol can't be a winner at the same time. But Conyers says while Jackson is making progress gaining white support, he may lose the younger upwardly mobile black voters who are showing signs of moving to the Republican Party. To be a black professional in a, in, in a business or a corporation, you not only have to dress like the people you work for, you have to think, talk, and politically act like them. For most of the century, the black vote has been a virtual block vote for the Democrats. In 1984, even though he lost by a landslide, Walter Mondale won 90% of the black vote. A New York Times survey shows that in the last 10 years, the Republican Party has made significant gains in winning over white voters, but blacks have barely budged from the Democratic Party. But the survey also shows Conyers' fears may be justified. Only about a third of black Democrats under 30 feel a strong allegiance to their party. What Jesse Jackson must do now is rekindle that allegiance to his party among his most likely supporters and convince those that would walk another road not to take that turn. Ed Garston, CNN, Atlanta.